hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start creating the player ui we will add the player health bar the player ammo information and also we will add health bar to the enemies as well and also we will show a damage indicator when the zombie hits the player then we will show a blood effect on the screen to indicate that the zombie is hitting the player and that indicator will be this one okay so in order to add that let's first of all create a ui canvas right here and let's name this canvas as player damage inside this canvas we will create a ui image and inside this image we can drag and drop this okay if you see the game here is the image on the screen right there now what we want is to move this image all the way to right there right there let me see the beam okay let's move this the player damage position x is 601 let's make this as 601 as well okay then 317 317 let's select this if position c is 0 let me see as well then width is 1202 1202 in six three four six three four okay this is the size of the canvas now let's drag and drop this inside the canvas so here is the canvas let's actually turn on the gizmo so that we can see where is the canvas and where is the same image okay like that now as you can see it fits the whole canvas let's see again okay it will show this like that so now save it we have the damage indicator now let's disable this and add this inside the player okay we have the damage indicator there now let's add this by using the script so whenever the zombie hit the player we will enable this indicator like this okay so on the player script at the top let's add a reference to the global damage indicator we'll say public game object let's name this as player damage okay and now we will call this just for 0 0.2 seconds okay and we will call this whenever the zombie hit us so for this we need to create a enumerator function by the name of player damage okay and inside this function we will simply say player damage dot set active let's set this to true and then we want to show this for 0.2 seconds so we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want to wait for 0.2 seconds okay and after that we want to disable this so we will simply say false and now we want to call this function when the player gets the damage so right here we will say start quarantine okay and we will call the player damage function and that's it now save this click on the player we need to provide the player damage there save it now let's go ahead and play the game now you will notice That when the zombie hit us as you can see it just played 
very quickly we don't want that so we can actually just delay the time a little bit let's delay it 0, 0 0.4 seconds okay you can change this when user according to your zombie attack now let's play the game again let's play it in the full screen Okay, it is still showing very quick. Let's change this to one second. And if you noticed, our uh, damage indicator was showing right here in the middle of the screen. And we actually don't want that. So let me disable that again. Let's see it. Okay, we have a problem right here. Let's go in the scene to the moon. Okay. I have moved the game window to the other screen and as you can see when I make that screen full as you can see now the damage indicator looks smaller. So turn on the gizmos and do this and this and this one down too and this one to there as well. Now save the game. Let's play the game in full screen and actually let's deactivate this and guys you can resize this canvas according to your screen size okay my screen size is bigger so that's why I'll stretch it out now let's see how the damage indicator see okay it's still slow so we need to change the timing a little bit now this will be the final Let's change this to 2F and that's it. And now let's play the game again. And guys, you can end this video right here if you have added your damage indicator. Okay. Now I'm just testing it out. Now you can see. It shows the damage indicator. You can set the timing according to your zombie attack. Okay. I will just leave this now as 1.8x and that's it. But now you know the basics that how to have a time indicator. You can change the time according to your game. That is it for this video and see you guys in the next one.